What's up basketball fans? Welcome back to Time Out. Balik lagi bareng gue Rocky Padilla and congratulations untuk Satria Muda Pertamina yang berhasil menjadi juara IBL musim 2017-2018 Well deserving, I think they were the better team in the series And kemarin di game ketiga mereka berhasil mengalami Pita Jaya dengan skor 69-64 Not gonna talk much about the game because I'm pretty sure everybody watched the game last night Hanya mau highlight for a few things yang pasti number one Jamar Johnson IBL Finals MVP for the second time Very poised game from Jamar. Ini the best game yang gue pernah nonton Jamar main. 21 poin, 7 dari 12, uh, field goal ya. So, very solid performance from Jamar last night. Gue udah bilang waktu halftime itu kalau Satria Muda menang, pasti Jamar yang akan jadi finals MVP. Dan yang kedua ada Dior Lohorn yang mencetak 20 poin juga. Dior, very good, uh, very solid game. Yang Tapi, the next guy I want to talk about, This guy deserve an MVP juga ini Ini orang main bener-bener mainnya satu seri juga bagus banget menurut gue Yaitu Hardianus Lakudu The next big point guard in Indonesia Menurut gue dia kemarin crucial banget uh, untuk Satria Muda dari defense And offense-nya juga bagus banget, 13 poin Beberapa kali crucial baskets, ada yang satu kali kok kalah uh, Buzzer beater, gue lupa tapi quarter 3 kok kalah itu membunuh momentumnya Pelita Jaya menurut gue Jadi Hardianus uh, Big, big series for him ini bagus banget untuk percayaan diri dia untuk ke depannya And gue bener-bener bilang kemarin sama Hardianus Man, lo akan menjadi the next big point guard in Indonesia So, congratulations to Hardianus for a very, very good uh, series And next ada Arki dengan 9 point Very good, solid performance from Dodo also Defense-nya bagus banget kalau kalian perhatiin kemarin untuk Dodo And ini sweet moment banget untuk Dodo because dia akan retire sayangnya uh, setelah ini gue juga main tanyain Dodo kenapa sih Dodo gak bisa satu tahun lagi karena Dodo is a very apa ya popular player juga di Indonesia dan dia adalah satu pemain kunci untuk tim nasional Indonesia juga tapi uh, Dodo seneng banget akhirnya bisa pensiun dengan menjadi juara so good luck untuk Dodo in the in the future for everything that he gonna do jadi uh, kemarin menurut gue kalau Pelita Jaya sendiri masalahnya adalah Offense mereka sedikit stagnan menurut gua. Gua lihat beberapa kali uh, Bradford kembali mendominasi bola dan nggak ada yang gerak kalau lagi offense. Kalau lu perhatiin nggak ada yang ngekat. Ada di mana nih? Bagi cutting to the basket. Jadi bener uh, I saw basketball main untuk Pelita Jaya. Asisnya kembali dikit kan 6, 6 asis doang satu game. Jadi kelihatan banget kalau bolanya nggak muter lagi seperti game pertama. Jadi uh, itu main gua yang terjadi dengan Pelita Jaya. Tapi great efforts from Pelita Jaya. Respect juga untuk Pelita Jaya. Uh, it was a great series for IBL fans. Tapi gua main sempat setelah pertandingan uh, masuk ke lapangan untuk interview beberapa pemain satria muda. So uh, let's check out the video now.
How about the journey on winning this championship? Oh man, you know, I've been I've been in Satya Muda for like seven years, man. Winning, winning every year, every time I won was, was, was a great feeling. With different players, legends, everybody. Every championship has its own story, man. But today, I don't know. I can't choose which one is the best, but it's always a great feeling. So uh, how does it feel to prove to the doubters that Sabrina Muda can still win? Oh, it feels beautiful. Revenge is sweet. I mean, but this, this right here, he's a lot to me because I knew people counted me out. And they kept counting me out, and they kept doubting, and they kept saying that I wasn't good enough as an import. But uh, they don't realize that I'm adjusting to the culture. I, I, I'm playing to the level, but I, I still have something in my in my back pocket. Aduh, gua speechless apa ya? Ini yang gua tunggu-tunggu nih. Terus di akhir karir gua, gua itu bagus. Itu aja, serius, gua bagus. Dan dan gua gua salut banget sama teman-teman gua semuanya. Mereka mereka benar-benar kerja keras. Proses sampai sininya itu luar biasa loh. Ya benar-benar terbayar, menurut gua terbayar serius. Kita tahu SM naik turun naik turun, tapi di akhirnya kita bisa dapetin lagi balik juara lagi. Thank you. Yeah man, it's the, hey man, ten. That's all I can say is ten man. I mean, like I said, we had a lot of fans behind us. I didn't want to disappoint our fans. I didn't want to disappoint the players' families and wives and girlfriends. I didn't want to disappoint the people that traveled far to get here. And, and all I could think about was family, family, my family, everybody's family. And I didn't want nobody crying or anything after the game. So that was the main thing I was thinking of. So that's what made me rise. Can you tell us how you felt after that buzzer, Ryan? Oh my God. That clock, that clock couldn't run out fast enough. The last five minutes, was the longest five minutes I've ever played the game. I was just waiting for that time to tick, tick, tick. And it finally ticked away, man. Congratulations, though. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. Hey, shout out to Rocky, man. He was my motivation, man. He had PJ winning, and I, and I took that as my motivation. This is my guy, though. I've been knowing this dude since the ABL. This, I love watching all his content on YouTube. Make sure you follow my dude. He gonna be doing big things, man. He got big things on the rise, for sure. Itulah video interview gue dengan para pemain Satria Muda Pertamina kemarin setelah pertandingan. Shout out to Dio Longhorn. Thank you for the compliment, big guy. I really appreciate that. But I almost forgot about Coach Yobel Sonda. Congratulations untuk Coach Yobel Sonda yang udah membawa Satria Muda Pertamina menjadi juara musim ini. Can we call him Brad Stevens of Indonesia? <laughs> Karena gue bilang dia basketball genius. Kita emang agak lupa mungkin kalau beberapa saat lalu itu masih dia masih jadi pemain. One of the best small forward. M mungkin aja the best perimeter defender pada saat uh, dia lagi prime prime dulu bermain menurut gua and then sekarang dia jadi pelatih I think he brought the same mentality saat dia masih bermain um, very defensive uh, apa ya minded banget timnya very good coach probably the brightest basketball mind in Indonesia right now menurut gua so congratulations again untuk coach Yobel Sonda I think Mungkin aja nanti in the future he be a national team coach, I won't be surprised And itu aja sih guys uh, untuk hari ini, thank you guys for watching Jangan lupa untuk like, jangan lupa untuk comment And jangan lupa untuk subscribe, bagi yang belum subscribe It's a wrap for the IBL season Shout out to all the, all the IBL players yang udah mau interview sama gue Yang udah bantu gue untuk bangun Youtube gue ini So, I really appreciate all the support from all the IBL players all my subscribers, all my followers on Instagram, thank you banget. So hopefully uh, I can keep going with my channel even though IBL season udah habis. We'll find some contents uh, during the off season and maybe hopefully during Asian games also. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.